Patty, when we talk about living organisms, one of the uh, systems that we talk about is the respiratory system. The way that we take in air and send it back out. In the humans, that's in our lungs, as we do that, we all know this. If you look at the word respiratory, you may notice that the etymology is related to the word spirit. In fact, in Greek, the word spirit, breath, and wind are all the same word, spiritus. And the Bible talks about the breath of God as the, God, as the breath that gives us life. Genesis describes Adam as God breathing into his nostrils the breath of life. The psalm tells us that when God removes his breath, we die. The breath of God is a gift that he gives to all his creation, all living creatures. It's a way that he sustains us. And it's a free gift, whether we acknowledge it or not, whether we deserve it or not. Something that he gives us out of his grace, his unmerited love. So we receive the gift when we breathe in, but think about when we send it back out. When we send the Spirit back out in the world, do we send it out with a message of hope? Do we send it out in love and compassion? Do we send it out as a blessing and not a curse, building up and not tearing down? We have a responsibility to use this gift, to spread the good news of great joy. Your sins are forgiven. To be words of encouragement and hope to build up faith. And it's a responsibility that we have in every breath we take. Thanks for listening. Adios.